hauntedflower.com and hauntedflowerreviews.com and today I'm going to be reviewing Naruto Shippuden Box Set 5 on DVD. It has 12 episodes, episodes 54 through 65, original and uncut. The features on it are there are storyboards, English credits, production art, you know, your basics. Last time on Naruto Shippuden, Naruto and Team Kakashi were unsuccessful in rescuing Sasuke for the second time. Naruto is bummed, but uh, they've kind of implemented what fans are calling a filler arc here to get the ball rolling. Kakashi recommends that Naruto start a new training regimen to get in touch with his wind chakra of nature that he's recently discovered that he has. He's going overboard with it, training like a mad fool. While Naruto is doing his training stuff, it turns out that there are these, like, grave robber dudes that show up to do some bad stuff. And what's really funny about them is that they are voiced by the old Full Metal Alchemist crowd. You've got Laura Bailey, who is Lust, Travis Willingham, who is Mustang, and Vic Mignogna, who is Ed. And in this, uh, basically... Laura Bailey's character is still Lust, but she's a saucy redhead that likes to try and make out with Naruto to, like, suck his soul or chakra or something. Travis Willingham's Mustang is someone named, like, Fudo? Fuda? Something like that. He's just a big, beefy dude. And Vic is voicing a character that I can only describe as a creepy tranny. It's, it's a he-she, and it has earrings. And what's really hilarious is that whenever it yells something, like it has like a move that it yells, like what it does, it sounds just like Ed coming out of a creepy he she woman. I'm sorry, it's the truth. That's what's going on here. All these dudes come back to attack the Leaf Village and it's going to be all nuts and crazy and they all need to bond together and protect the Leaf Village again. And in the meantime, Naruto finds a Sasuke substitute. This kid's name is Sora. He likes to walk around with wolverine claws, and apparently he can turn beasty. Like, he unwraps his bandages and his hand turns into beast hand, and then he's like, rawr. So, it sounds like he might be similar to Naruto in some way, but they haven't revealed it all yet. He's got some issues. Um, yeah. So, instead of chasing Sasuke around and trying to bring Sasuke back, Naruto's gonna chase this guy. He's going to be the new one that got away during this time period. As far as sets go, this one was a little underwhelming. Let's say one, two, three, and four were all like really awesome because we're all grown up, we're training hard, we're doing important things, and all the while we're going back to get Sasuke at some point. You know, first we tried to save Gara, and then we tried to save Sasuke, and now we're hanging out with Vic the Tranny and his crew and Wolverine Wannabe. It's a little bit, just a little bit of a letdown while I'm waiting for more important things to happen. So, looking forward to box set six so we can move along and get into giant leaf village battle fightness. That's my review for Naruto Shippuden box set five on DVD. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you'll join me next time for another anime review. Bye! For more reviews and to find out about free contest giveaways, go to hauntedflowerreviews.com. My reviews are also available as a podcast on iTunes. Search for Haunted Flower Reviews and subscribe and leave us feedback and comments. Our store is hauntedflower.com where we specialize in fantastic licensed apparel from movies, TV shows, video games, anime, and more. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash hauntedflower and Twitter at haunted underscore flower. If you're local to the Indianapolis area, visit IndieMojo.com for details on how you can win free screening passes.